Well, summertime's here. No, no, it's not summertime. Golly, feels like summertime. Spring's here though. What happens in the springtime? Everything turns green. What turns green first? The weeds. What's the most fearsome weed in my pasture or anybody's pasture in the south? I don't know about the north. Yep, the dreaded thistle bush. Uh, we're gonna go out and see if we can kill some thistle bushes. I know there's some down there. Uh, I don't really have any up here in front of the house, but below the pond, I know there's several. So I'm headed to do that. I'll show you how that's done. Then I guess I gotta go help give a goat a bath or two goats a bath because some of them are leaving town this week. Next week, today's Saturday. Sorry, it's always Sunday. Next week. So let's get started. So I wanna show you something real quick. We got, and I'll show you the rain gauge later, but we got over five inches of rain, probably close to six inches of rain the other night. No mud. That's because we're still in a drought. We're in a pretty big drought, I guess. Of course it ran. It rained so fast that most of it just washed off or ran off, I guess you'd say. Anyhow, yeah, still, you would think there'd be mud left over. There's not. All right, let's attack the thistle. Oh, 
it hot outside. Alright, so just for reference, this is how much hay I have left. That is three rows, I believe, maybe four. I think it's just three. There's still a lot of hay left for me to feed. And I'm going to try to, I don't know, feed it all. I doubt I do. I'm sure I have some left over for next year. Uh, there's not a lot of grass that's growing yet. It's still weeds. There is some grass. And they keep it eat down pretty good. I've got to fertilize next week, I hope. That's the plan. Uh, lambs, lambs don't ever hold up. Today, though, I'm going to finish with moving a roll of hay that I put out, and they won't touch it. I'm not sure why, so I'm going to move it. I think that may have something to do with it. And then, in between catching goats to get baths and trims, I'm going to try to clean up uh, old hay that's laid out in the pasture so I can get some grass growing in those areas so now that's gonna be the end of our day so stick with me and we'll see how much fun we have all right we got the grapple on we got the crap the name just went out of my head tiller we got the tiller on grapple we're gonna go pick up some old hay and tiller. Let's pick it up. We're going to till some soil, plant some grass. Probably not today. I don't know. I'll check the weather and see how much rain we got. If we don't have a lot of rain, if it's just uh, like storms coming and we're not going to get six freaking inches of rain again, then I'll probably plant the grass tomorrow. We'll see. Anyhow, we're headed out there. We're going to pick up some old hay. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But we have got to get some bare spots grassed in for the rest of the summer. That's the plan for this weekend. So stick with us. Let's see what we can come up with. Yep, yep. Cleaning up old hay. So let me stop for a minute. So about uh, three years ago in this very spot right here, I had piles of, I, I, it's, it's hard to explain, uh, mountains of uneaten hay that was piled in this area right here. I spent two days cleaning it up, moving it to where I'm fixing to go dump this out. This isn't much. I probably don't have to clean this up, but I am because I'm going to till it up and plant grass seed there. But uh, I built a shed barn, hay barn, last year and put all the hay under. Uh, uh oh, goats are out. I don't know if you can see them. I got to close up my shop or they'll be in the feed. Anyhow, uh, I built a barn, put my hay under, and I have not had to clean up hay out of the field until this year. And again, I really don't have to. Uh, I've just got a few little spots that are kind of full. I can't till them up and plant grass there. Probably take me a total of four hours to do this. So, anyhow, stored hay outside is great, I guess, maybe. Uh, I'll tell you what I did wrong. I stacked it outside, did not cover it up, and that is the wrong thing to do. If, if you're storing your hay outside, just set it down on the ground. Do not let the bells touch each other, and uh, you'll be fine. I didn't. I, I stacked it. I left it outside. I covered like part of it, but it didn't do any good. So, 
lesson learned. Passing it along. If you're not covering your bells and you're storing it outside, set it on the ground. Do not stack it. And you'll be good. You'll have uh, a little waste, but not a whole lot. Not like I had. It was, it was horrible. I should have took pictures and videos of it, but I went on YouTube back then and I was not uh, recording what I was doing. So anyhow, hey, let me close up my shop before the goats get in there. I do not have a cookie for you. Sorry. See? No cookies. You'll get one later. Alright. So, end the day. My cows are out of water. And I don't feel sorry for them because way down there below the pond, there's plenty of standing water for them to drink. I did not let them go without water. But, they prefer fresh, out of the hose water. And I'll just like us people do. Anyhow, I'm going to water these girls and guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Go ahead and subscribe or like or send me a message or I don't know, any of the above. And we'll see you next week, if not before.